Hello everyone. Here we are discuss about the next topic that is isolation of azotobacter from the soil by the process called as an enrichment culture technique. Okay. So as we know that isolation means the separation of azotobacter from the soil. So first regarding process as they are indicated in diagram and diagram here here the rhizospheric zone so we have to collect the 0.5 gram or 1 gram soil sample from the rhizospheric zone of cereal crop then transfer that 0.5 to 1 gram of soil into the 3 conical flask which containing 100 ml of Jensen broth which containing the 100 ml of Jensen broth so Jensen broth that means what the Jensen is a media on which the growth of azotobacter is takes place so transfer 100 ml of Jensen broth or media broth means liquid so transfer 100 ml of Jensen liquid media or broth media into the each conical flask then transfer that 0.5 or 1 gram sam soil sample into the each conical flask as we earlier described then transfer that 3 flask so into the BOD incubator which containing the 100 ml of Jensen broth plus 0.5 or 1 gram of soil sample into each flask so transfer such a flask into the BOD incubator for a period of 6 to 7 days at a temperature of 26 plus or minus 2 degree celsius on which or here and at that temperature the fast growth of azotobacter takes place in BOD incubator so within 6 to 7 days what happens the colonies of azotobacter is observed here the colonies of azotobacter is observed so again we have to for mass multiplication just we have to take the again 3 to 4 conical flask which containing 100 ml of Jensen broth then transfer that the growth of azotobacter here whatever the growth of azotobacter is there so transfer that growth of azotobacter into the yeast flask that is transfer 1 to 2 ml of broth from such a conical flask into that conical flask transfer 1 to 2 ml of azotobacter or azotobacter broth into the another conical flask into three conical flask in that way and then this three conical flask is put into the again similarly in BOD incubator for a period of 26 plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius so within six to seven days again the growth similar growth here the similar growth is observed on the on that Jensen media here the colonies of azotobacter is takes place the growth of colonies of azotobacter is takes place on the Jensen broth media so in that way we have to multiply or we have to multiply that azotobacter in mass quantity so this is regarding the procedure of isolation of azotobacter so again we discuss in short first point that is collect the rhizospheric soil that is 0.5 or 1 gram of rhizospheric soil we have to collect from the cereal crop or the root noodles from the uh, root from the cereal crop transfer that 1 gram of sample or 0.5 gram of soil sample into each 3 conical flask which already containing the 100 ml of Jensen broth media Jensen broth means liquid media then then third point is that transfer or transfer that conical 3 conical flask into BOD incubator for a period of 6 to 7 days after 6 to 7 days growth of azotobacter is takes place then for another then again for mass multiplication again we have to take 3 conical flask or 5 conical flask depending on your requirement that that flask which containing each flask containing 100 ml of Jensen broth similarly and in that flask again we have to transfer the growth of that azotobacter from the previous flask transfer that 1 to 2 ml of 
method of vector suspension into each conical flask, new conical flask. And such a conical flask is put into the VOD incubator for a period of 6 to 7 days. So within 6 to 7 days again the growth of that azotobacter is takes place on Jensen broth media. So in that way we have to isolate or separate the rhizobia, uh, sorry, azotobacter bacteria on Jensen media. So this is overall procedure of isolation of azotobacter from the cereal crop. So this is all about the overall procedure. Thank you.